Good evening, Trinidad and Tobago. It is Monday the 11th of June. It's seven minutes past eight. Sorry for starting a little late. Um, I don't know if anybody's expecting me. And that's cool. I like to not be expected. I read somebody sent me this thing on Facebook and I found I said, but they they wrote this just for me. Because it said, um, it asked a question, do you think about what you're going to say before you say it? And, and, and the answer was no. I like to be just as surprised as everybody else at what comes out of my mouth. Anyway, good evening. Um, let's see who finds me. Because it's not regular now that I do a video. Tonight's video is entitled, Let's Pretend. We're pretending stuff because if this was a real country, we would not have to deal with these things. I want you to hear. I want you to hear something. I want you to hear. You will find that Apple updates too regularly. And every five minutes is a reminder of an update. Come on, Apple, chill your belly. Anyway, before the advent of the Progressive Empowerment Party, this is what used to pass for politics in Trinidad and Tobago. No lie, this video is from November 2016. What you're about to hear is an exchange in the Parliament November 2016. I want you to remember the Progressive Empowerment Party was launched January 17, 2017. And the country, we've changed the conversation, it's not been the same since. While you're all here, please do me a favor, share the video, tell everybody, fills on. I want you to hear this. ...place of roti in the lower house results in one member of parliament being temporarily suspended from the city. The Prime Minister, Dr. Keith Valley, and Princess Town MP, Barry Paderat, sparred during question time. Karen Kozer Philip has more. This is November 2016. This is what passed for parliamentary debate. This is what the news media took away from the highest court in the land. The gloves came off during the Prime Minister's question time when the Prince's Town MP demanded that he see receipts for a Diwali function hosted by the People's Partnership Government. The Speaker, the Prime Minister was very specific when he made his statement. He said $350,000 in roti. Do you have a bill to show $350,000 in roti? The Prime Minister blocked and dodged the punches. Hear the media. Hear what the media is saying. Somebody wrote that for Samantha John to read, you know. The Prime Minister blocked and dodged the punches. Par Pararat, talking about roti bills. The entire UNC, like chimpanzees in the zoo, beating up their desks. Listen. The catering cost, not three fifty, but $394,558. Now, that day, people, children were murdered. That day, I can guarantee you that. We have more than a murder a day. So you can be certain that somebody tried to get murdered that day. But for Barry Panarat and Kid Rowley, roti politics is the order of the day. The actual, the actual, the actual roti on the plate. The actual roti on the plate. This is your parliament, November 2016, discussing the actual price of roti at a catering between one version of the PNM and the UNC and each other. Now, now listen eh? That House of Representatives, they, the combined salaries of the House of Representatives is, you could estimate it at about, I don't know, two and a half, three million dollars a month. So, for about 36 million dollars a year? It's a quarter million dollars. <laughs> and to put it from the plate to the mouth and having the plate with another... The, the $138,000. Now you hear what passed for government, opposition, parliament in Trinidad and Tobago prior to the advent of the Progressive Empowerment Party. I want to hear this. I want you to hear this, Jackass. You want to hear this, Jackass? No. This is Jackass now. The Prime Minister says every time his party is in government, the country moves forward. 
This, as he says, his government is one for all of the people of this country and not just the members of the People's National Movement. Who oh, stick a pin. The Prime Minister says every time the PLM is in government, the country moves forward. Now, you not remembering, taking the media word for it, you might be tempted to believe that that is how Keith Rowley feels. But I want to ask, because I have exposed Keith Rowley to be the most obscene teller of untruths, a maniac liar, right? He's a liar in the extreme. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003 as a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Unicot. Now, he said, you are here again, because the media broadcast this piece of bullshit. This, as he says, his government is one for all of the people. Yes. He says every time his party is in government, the country moves forward. This, as he says, his government is one for all of the... One for all my ass. We'll come back at that. But he went to tell them that in 2003 there was bid rigging. This is just 2003, but he goes on. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with the Airco Now, the same kid who told the nation that Pandey's crew stole billions as Piaco. Now, he just said that what took place under Patrick Manning in a cabinet of which he, Keith Christopher Mugabe, sabbed around him. And I'm saying this for the little sabbed boy who was playing walking slow behind me in the gym, but no, go yourself, eh? slow your freaking roll. This is Keith Christopher Mugabe sabbed around him. And the bullshit he said then, and I want you to know why it's bullshit, because Keith Rowley has never been able, and the media has never asked, the only person in Trinidad and Tobago who has ever asked Keith Rowley about this is me. Keith Rowley told the nation this that you are hearing, that there was massive bid rigging in Manning's cabinet in 2003. Keith Rowley told the nation that in 2009. That means Keith Rowley knew in 2003 Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. August 2003. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to the Prime Minister. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. As a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Unicot. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with the Airco Airport. By Keith Rowley's own deceitful, hypocritical, conniving, untrustworthy tongue, double tongue, this man, I sure he had three tongues in his mouth. He told the nation in August 2000, he said he went to the Prime Minister in August 2003. But this he is telling the nation in 2009, that means... He knew that there was massive bid rigging taking place in Manning's cabinet, in Manning's government, 10 times worse than Piaco, which was billions. So we let's assume 10 billion. Let's just assume that Rowley was alluding to $10 billion in 2003. He did nothing in 2004. He got to the media. He didn't go to the Integrity Commission. He didn't go to the director of public prosecutions. He didn't go to the police service. He didn't go to the chief justice. He didn't go to anybody in 2004, despite knowing that there was massive bid rigging taking place. Went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. As a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Unicot. In 2003, you know billions of dollars being stolen by the government of which you're a part. 2004, you, you, you choose to eat cabinet food, drink cabinet wine, talk to nobody. 2005, he didn't go to the Chairman of the Integrity Commission because he know how to do it. When he was doing his email gate bullshit, 
he found himself in Ken Gordon House up Newberry Hill, round the corner from by him, to go and play um, with his judge, jury, executioner. But we come back to that. But we knew that he knew that he knew how to get to the Integrity Commissioner House. But he didn't do that in 2005. In 2005, he did not go to the Organized Crime Division of Trenton Negro Police Service. In 2005, he did not go to the Director of Public Prosecutions and raise his concerns. Do you know that in 2005, he didn't even tell the media? 2006! 2006! He didn't tell the police. 2006! Despite King Christopher Mugabe Sagaroli knowing that the government of which he was a part was engaged in massive bid rigging to the tune of billions of dollars, he told nobody. Kid Rowley did not tell the police. Kid Rowley did not tell the media. Kid Rowley didn't tell the Integrity Commission. 2006. In 2007, there was an election in Trinidad and Tobago. Kid Rowley had every opportunity in 2007 to tell the people that there was massive bid rigging taking place in Patrick Manning's cabinet. But he didn't. He closed ranks and towed party line. He was interviewed. He spoke on platforms glowingly of a government that this son of a bitch knew was robbing the country. Keith Christopher, listen, the man on based on this alone, he's a co-conspirator and a crook. Keith Rowley, you're a blasted crook. You sat down in that parliament. I tell you, you're a crook. Keith Rowley is a crook and the whole country didn't call him a crook. Because you knew in 2003 that there was bed rigging and billions being stolen in your government. And you said nothing in 2004. You said nothing in 2005. You said nothing in 2006. In 2007, you championed the PNN. In 2008, you said nothing. In 2008, Manning back. Manning back. And in 2008, you didn't tell the BPP. You didn't tell the Commission of Police. You didn't tell the Integrity Commission. You didn't tell Transparency International. You didn't tell Fazir and Hema. In 2008, you was eating cabinet food, keep crooked Christopher Rowley, and drinking cabinet wine. You crook, keep Rowley. We have a crook for our Prime Minister. And Michael Kwamina is suing Brian Stone for calling Keith Rowley a crook. I have evidence, 2003, that crook knew that the government of which he was a part was robbing the nation. And he said so. Listen for it here, Your Honor, Exhibit A. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. As a minister of government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PM minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Unicot. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is 10 times worse than what happened with the Akko Airport. And it's even more brazen. And it's even more brazen. You crook. You dirty crook. You know why you're a crook? Because you knew. Keith Rowley, you knew. Marley could say, I didn't know. Collins could say, I didn't know. Fitzgerald Hines could say, Marley was firing my ass every other week. I had no way of knowing. But you knew, King Rowley, you had an obligation based on the oath that you swore, both as an MP and as a minister. You had an obligation to this country every minute of every day for six years. And you chose to lie, to lie by omission, to deceive the nation. Worse, when you campaigned for the PNM in 2007, keep Christopher Mugabe Sabda Rowley. You told untruths. You hid facts from the nation. You, who wanted to march for everything under the UNC, was very comfortable sitting down, feeding Sharon and your girl children and your two outside boy children the nation didn't know about. You had no problem putting food in the mouth under dubious conditions. You, keep Christopher Mugabe Sagaroli, are a disgusting individual. They say a country gets the government it deserves Well, we are one step away from hell if that jackass is what we deserve. Listen, this man, listen to him. PNM is on trial because those of us 
Those of us who were here and carried the, 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 the O'Halloran steam. No, for y'all who know join. For y'all who know join the video. This is what Jackass Rowley says Barataria. The Prime Minister says every time his party is in government, the country moves forward. But in 2003, he knew that the country was being raped by the PNM. But that was not all. He knew also before. He knew about the 70s and the 80s. We cannot take the position that this is all talk. In 1986, when we went to campaign in my area, Rape. this is all talk. In yeah. 1980, we cannot take the position that this is all talk. Listen to me. This is a man standing up in Parliament, you know. Parliament. Sacrosanct. This is a man speaking into the Hansard, saying, this is not all talk. What I am telling you, this is what Keith Rowley is saying. What I am telling you is that the government of which I am a part were crooks in the 80s and they crooks now. In 1986, when we went to campaign in my area, I was there. I don't know who else was there. I was there. And you're going door to door. And they're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings, in Glencore, in Bayshore, and all the tell you Hear this, son of a bitch. Eh? For all my black brethren and sisters, all of you, you're about to get pissed. Eh? Because that inside out Oreo, even though he stunk for you as the blackest man in Chilean to be you, he think this is the Martin West. Do and they're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings, in Glencoe, in Bayshore, and all the tell you about West Moorings, Glencoe, Bayshore, Goodwood Park. He is the member of parliament for the bourgeoisie. Kid Rowley ain't talk about Abi Pujal, Big Yard, Scorpion. He ain't talk about Bagatelle, Covin, Factory Road, Diamond Vale, Rich Plain. La Puerta. He talk about he talk about Sanganga. He talk about not one black community. As far as he concerned, this is who he represented. I don't know who else was there. I was there. Listen. And you're going door to door, and they're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings, in Glencore, in Bayshore, and all the tell you is O'Halloran. And I asked today. And I asked today. You know what? You all need to wake all yourselves up. I can't do the job for you. You could be stupid. You could take your licks. You could take your abuse. But you know what? At least have the decency to accept that you know that you're voting for a jackass, that you're a jackass yourself, that it is a racist party. Because if the PNM and the UNC are not on race, let an Indian lead the PNM. Let an African lead the UNC. And tell me when that day comes. And today, today, every school child in this country knows that there's something called Utica and it smells to the high heavens. That is true. Now, donkey ass, jackass, I gotta tell you, I despise this man as our prime minister. You know, to know that you have a prime minister who is capable of knowing that the government of which he is a part, a senior cabinet member, is plundering the nation. He could have gone to the president. Knowing that he is that his government is pillaging the country. He could have gone to the integrity commission. He could have gone to the police. He could have gone to Transparency International. He could have called CNN. This son of a bitch. When he was stunting email gate. Oh, you know this man is such a disgusting liar. I understand that people in the news media, Hema Ramkisu, finds that I am a little aggressive. Hema, you forget how many times I was on your show, when it was okay, when I wasn't exposing the oligarchy that pays you. Hema, I want to ask you a question, as an aside. Why are you not angry, Hema? Why are you not angry? Did you forget everything else? Why are you not angry for Sean Luke? Amy Anna Mantudo, Akil Chambers, Daniel Guerra, Hema Ramkisun. When was the last time you asked on TV, was anybody brought to justice 
for strangling little Tisha Henry and stuffing her in a hole in Lavender. Hey ma, Ramki soon. All y'all who think that I speak too rough, I could be a giggly Barbie doll like you too. But I'm not in this for shits and giggles. I am this to rescue a sinking country. Hey ma, you have a soapbox every morning. I challenge you, hey ma, pick a morning. Read the names of the 5,000 people murdered in this country in the last 10 years. Just read their names. Just take the two hours that you get, Hema, and read 5,000 names gunned down, murdered in this little country. Hema. Hema, ask into the camera. Ask what happened to the swimming trunks that was covered in semen that was sent for forensic testing. How did that disappear? The trunks that had the DNA of the person who raped little 11-year-old Akil Chambers. Hey, Maram Kisu. Hey, Maram Kisu. You want my respect? I Win, win all the wins tomorrow morning on your television show. Ask this country why nobody was brought to justice for the rape and murder of Akil Chambers. Akil Chambers was murdered, and then people in that house conspired to hide that little boy's broken, now dead body. And come back when everybody gone and put him in the pool. Your own, the, the daughter, the, the birdie girl say, we was in the pool till the end. If anybody was in the pool at the bottom of the pool, we would have seen. Him around Kisu. And the rest of the media, Fazil Mohammed. Fazil, ask about Akin Chambers. Fazir Mohammed, ask about Sean Luke, Amy Anna Montudo, Daniel Guerra. Fazir Mohammed, on your show, every day, pick a victor, a Sami. What's going on with that case? What's going on with the murder of beautiful Asami? What? You see, for the people who want the Progressive Empowerment Party to be another version of the lukewarm Congress of the people that had every answer and got an opportunity and did fart all for this nation, you're wrong. The people who are watching me and seeing my little pink skin and comparing me and my activism to Stephen Cady's, I'm not, I'm not in the tropical power business. I'm not looking to get contracts to fix boats. For the Coast Guard. I'm not looking to get into government to stunt for five years and when I come back out then pretend I know what's wrong. Don't compare me to Stephen Cadiz. Not a minute, not a day. Don't compare. I see one of our members posing with a Congress of the People member. I spit on the floor. Do not make the assumption to associate the Progressive Empowerment Party with any political party that exists. The Congress of the People is dead. Dead. The only thing the Congress of the People should get is an award for not lying down dead. Because they're refusing to accept the dead. But don't compare us to the Congress of the People because the Congress of the People was on bullshit. The Congress of the People was a different clique, a different bunch of financiers who wanted to jump in and eat too. Don't compare us. Look at MSJ. Look at David Abdullah. David Abdullah. I watch him for the five years of Kamala Mania. Wear down shoe after shoe after shoe. If Kamala wake up on the wrong side of the bed, David Abdullah and the MSJ marching for that. What are you doing on the right side of the bed? Kamala get back on the left. We marching. David Dutty Abdullah. Where are you today? The country 
the country in a turmoil it has never experienced. Where you David Abdullah eating, eating all inside your pocket, your back food, and and all all you sell all your soul for 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 a thirty piece of silver. Sell I can't say sell your brothers because David Abdullah, you're not from Trinidad. You're not a Trinidad, yeah? So you could land here, stunt here, rent here, and then go your merry way. But it is people like you, David Abdullah, I have come to despise in politics. Because you have no integrity, you have no ethics, you have no idea of morality. You are part of a high class gang that knows how to bullshit each other for the cameras. And tomorrow morning, Hema will call you on TV. And you'll go and bullshit for Hema and the last five people who ain't have social media yet still watching Hema. And I know media in Trinidad dead. Stone dead. Because the media run two of my articles in the papers and nobody, nobody took a picture and sent it. Normally, one time. Not even my parents buy papers anymore. This country is broken by intelligent, educated people who have had opportunity and used that opportunity to gang up on everybody else. This Trinidad and Tobago. But I want to come back to Mugabe. If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. Why? cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that then God help us. Kit Christopher Mugabe Sabgaroy I want you to hear me say this to you. The Progressive Empowerment Party is here to call you and the rest of the mocking pretenders to order. I want Trinidad to understand this. We don't just want to win for you to vote them out, you know. The minute you vote them out, that's step one. Every one of them, even if I have to exhume money, will be put on trial. We will find this nation's money. We will get the abusers. Call the Ish Dupre Steve, the entire rogues gallery, from prime ministers who conspired like Pande. Pande have one question to answer that people need to hear. Basdeo Pande, tell this country how you and Manning knew to be out of the parliament Friday, July 27, 1990. Until Hema Ramkesun and Fazir Mohammed could drill down, check the attendance records of Basdeo Pande and Patrick Manning in the parliament and explain to the nation how uncharacteristically both of them were absent on Friday, July 27, 1990. You know what else you have to answer? Baz, next time you and Michaela stunt, Michaela, you see that thing? It's time. I'll tell you what it's time for. It's time, Michaela, for you to explain the money that Dupre gave for your education, where that money come from, and what Dupre got in return. All! All! Yeah. He said, fell boy, I didn't know what the ass they invite me to. And if I had known better, I'd have just leave. I mean, I was
protect the young one by any means, Lord. Yeah, you know, bad man, boy, now. Yeah, you know, bad man. Every bad man must make his own decisions. He won't need anyone. The only need is God. Yeah, you know, bad man, boy, now. Yeah, you know, bad man. So, sit down, rock back. Tell them I don't need no strength to defend my people. From the kid and evil. Just to say as a political party. You form a political party to contest elections. Election call. This Saturday coming here at 6 o'clock. Fire on Pigot's corner. Rowley are coming to stand up in your footprints. Are coming in a PNM stronghold and are standing up in your footprints. And are coming to expose you and the stink and dirty PNM to all the people of Belmont and to the life that they and their family could have. Do you know that in Trinidad and Tobago, According to the statistics, if you work just with the budget, every Trinidadian is worth $250,000 a year. And that's you, your wife, and your three children, only well, worth $1.2 million every year. And if you have to buy health insurance, you tell them, if they say we gave you $1.2 million, but we ain't giving you no public health, tell them all that. Because I could get the same health insurance Sabga and, and, and Warner from Massey. I could get that same health insurance of $5,000 a year. One for me, one for my wife, one for my child. I take that for my $1.5 million and I still have the money. And they say, no free school, no problem. I could take my three children and put them in the international school for first world education prestige. The little party here in West Morens. $72,000. I take that from me, $1.5. I still have big money. Big money. You can't tell me about the roads. The roads is shit. How much more shit the road could be? You can't say you're spending money on the road because the road is crap. Trinidadians should just say, government, hear what? Give me the money. Give me the money and we will take care of your own business. You know, you can hire a security guard round the clock outside your house. $360,000 a year. $360,000 a year. No. You ain't getting police response now for now unless you is Goodwood Park or Sinclair or Fairways. So you could hire your own police, your own security guard. $360,000 a year. So take out, take out security guard, take out school, take out health insurance. What left? What left the government is gay that, that, that Mugabe say wean yourself off of? What else you must get? You could tell him hold that. Hold that. We don't get water. So if you're buying water by the gallon, there's a fellow named Max. He's delivered water for, for, for Wasa. And it's $500 for a thousand gallon. So if a thousand gallon lasts your family a week, $2,000 a month, 12 two are 24. Let's say double that. $50,000 from your 1.2 million. Buy your own water. Tell Wasa, keep that. We are soak away in the yard. We ain't need to, to, to send we waste down by you. If people were just getting their share of the budget every year and take care of their own business, everybody in China is a millionaire. But you don't get that, Belmont. You're not getting that barataria. You have to suck salt so that certain friends and financiers could become billionaires and go and live in fair ways next door to each other and pretend they somebody. Eh? Let me tell Trinidad Tobago something. Eh? You have a responsibility to fix your country. And listening to that stunting jackass gone and fool people in carnage. The one thing that bothered me when they had fired me from the cabinet was I didn't finish this thing. Standing up in the carnage fish market, you know, that took the PNM 
20 years to live. 20 years. But stunting jackers, as soon as they reach an office, a mud wife gets she contract. And them go on and power wash and finish by Lara get him money and they finish the tsunami shelter. More hundreds of millions of people in, the, in Canada are like, wait now, man. But he said, keep him awake in the night. Keep Christopher Mugabe Sabga Rowley. You better pray the hand of God. I used to tell Kwaito and Ish the same thing. Only better pray the hand of God. Because if there's a God in heaven, he waiting for you. If there's a God in heaven, he waiting for you. People like you. Telling people in carnage that that's what you used to keep you up in the night.
no like they want to come for me So tell them come for me Keep you up at night, friend, what coming? Listen, the people of Trinidad and Tobago have opportunity in Belmont and Barataria. We come in and we have call them sycophantic seats. Less than 20% of the people has come out and vote for you. We will make it politically sexy for the other 80% to say, time to fire them. We don't fear nobody. All of them who are confront with any, anywhere. We go, we fear nobody. Afraid to the home. Tell them we don't fear nobody. All of them who want to stop me. Oh, Tell them we don't fear nobody. Hide and talk, that's what all they're good for. One set of hide and talk, one set of bad talk people, one set of muck raking, damage your name, hire little Rocky Garcia, Rocky on his last two legs, he had nothing left to jump into, he like in Chinese smell. Waste of freaking time. Bring all of them, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I will willing to debate all. Bring all! Bring everybody. Let Rocky come and tell me, yes, I wear a dress last World Cup after Argentina lose. All right, next. We bring to the table, rocks. In Chan, we bring it to the table. You, you take some pictures of some pet meetings. They didn't have as big enough a crowd as we wanted, and you say we bust. But they have had 16 meetings very well attended. How come you ain't make no picture of them? All they're full of shit. All they're full of shit on your best day. But you know what I love? I love the people of Trinidad and Tobago because they're waking up. Trinidad waking up. Trinidad not on bullshit anymore. They sent a little stunting former UNC fail candidate. A woman named, what was she named by? Anyway, her name is Kim Cole, but that's her real name. Her real name is something like Hogood or something like that. Believe it or not, I can't make this shit up. But anyway, Kim Cole, they sent Kim Cole to attack me two weeks later. Kim Cole name out in the public, she business in the road. She bouncing checks and owing people. Next thing you know, they cancel she show. The black agenda call me and they say, listen, you see this black thing them talking about, we ain't that. They are black caucus, black agenda, black all kind of thing and all of them. Disavow themselves from this child that Kamala said. That was Kamala candidate. This is all these shithounds know. This is all they know. Attack and damage your name. And you know what they meet? They meet me. They meet me. You could bring all the shit you want to bring. I will still be here standing. And at some point, it will be my turn to play. And all they better hope. And all they better pray. Children are really as ready as we think they're ready, you know. Because all around us, all around us, from Obama and Trump and me and Motley, all we see is, look what happened in Jordan, look what happened in Spain. The people say, you see this? You see all the bullshit artists? It's time to get rid of them now. Eh? It's time to fix the country. And when the people reach to that point, brace you. Raul, you can't stunt. You pay and take a hundred people in Barataria and a hundred people is all you get because nobody ain't come. Nobody want to hear your shit. Nobody want to hear you and Imbert and Fitzgerald Hines again. All like Dwens and Lagahoo. Nobody want to see all you again. They want a real opportunity for a real government so they can come and sprinkle holy water and run your ass. They want nothing. And Kamala, Munilal, Suho Trambachan, come now man. We've seen that dog and pony show before. It never works. It never works out for us. The truth of the matter is, the country has been broken by people that we hired. The people trusted you, they put their vote, and they say, come fix my country, and each one of you, one after the other, abuse the people more. Nasty, stink and dirty. You all, listen, listen. Them little sin, let's make people go to hell. I want you to face justice. I vex man in escape. I vex. I vex man in escape. Man in have plenty to answer for. He had his band of, of crooks, this PNM dirty government. We had two booms in this country. The first boom, Eric Williams, they talk about Trinidad and Tobago. They say that money passed through Trinidad like a dose of salts. Eric and his band of crooks. Erica Williams Connell, one of the richest women in the world. She never worked a day in her life. She's royalty. She inherited Trinidad money. When thing nice, when thing nice. And then Manning bounced up a boom bigger than Eric boom. Them fellas couldn't spend fast enough, boy. And a certain community move. They move up from selling plot to owning good with Park Hill, brother. Owning the hill. Because they see them come in. Something, there was something insecure about the PNM. Eh? The PNM, even though they have power, they don't think they deserve power. So they look for people with pink skin to come and say, I have the power, but you own me still. It's like slavery embedded 
and some of them pay them money. They need a massa. They need a massa. Look at Rowley. Look at Rowley's ride or die. Not one black face. Not one. Look around them. Find, go on Google, Rowley and friends. See where you find. We have a country to save. <laughs> British could have ruled nations the size of India and other countries like that. They had to put the people, Africa, Africa, you, you couldn't rule Africa without dividing people, make people fight each other so you could make war for the spoils. My black brothers and my Indian brothers and sisters, I understand. I understand all the games they play, they do to the police and the army. Eric Williams was a master um, a, a Linskian. He just knew how to divide and conquer. Listen, I understand. And I also understand that a time came when you were knowledgeable enough and you realized that voting race are helping because election after election, the numbers voting get less and less. This is a country of 1.5 million people, 900,000 registered to vote. 25% is people under the age, the voting age. That means a whole 25% are even bothering to register. Of the 900,000 that are registered, only half a million vote. And of that half a million, half does go to PNM and half does go to the UNC. You know what it's time to do? And half of all those votes inside the day is fair votes, you know, is roti votes, is dogla votes. Is, 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 is UNC telling the children, black people come in and make dog black children and, and PNM telling, what's in there in power, dog, black dog eat your supper? Bullshit, you know, it's bullshit. And the people know it's bullshit, eh? but just in case, just in case they really have a Calcutta ship, let me hold me. Listen, I understand. I understand you've been up to your neck in bullshit for 56 years. The sun has come out of the rain. It is now a brand new day. There is a real political champion in this country, a political organization that not only knows how to fix everything in Trinidad and Tobago, breaks it down for you and gives you the information free. There's no mystery, like, like what, what disease eating call him but that have his face looking like crepe paper. That's a mystery. Somebody need to ask that question. But we don't keep ours hiding. We just tell you everything you need to know. If it is that who you're voting, maybe you're not Your daughter working in Michael Cumming office as, a, as, a, as a junior attorney? Don't shit me up now, man. Just as how you put them in. Put them out. One dank, stink, diluted gym pool. This little dirty PNM. Eh? Register and put them out. If they can see, put them out. Stay in your finger.
campaign local government yes keep rolling yes we come in the progressive empowerment party is mobilizing and we are having a public launch a press launch the entire media fraternity is invited and in Chan, I have my own drone you'll get a crowd shot from on top it will make you wet your pants you will see the PEP is on the march the PEP is on the move the progressive empowerment party is assembling and closing ranks it is time for all the people to lock, step, stand together to rescue this country from the band of mocking pretenders that has been pilfering, plundering and pillaging this nation. The Progressive Empowerment Party this Saturday at 6 o'clock will be at Pigot's Corner in Belmont launching our two beautiful candidates. You want to see real representation? Come Pigot's Corner this Saturday, 6 p.m. If there are the reasons why the economy goes down when you're voting with them and the high-powered weapon. Stuart Young, you and the four salaries that you're getting, that is five salaries too much for your incompetent, lying, propagandist jackass. You're fired. Shanfa Kujo, not only are you fired, give us back the phone. For Gerald Hines, you know the jail. How much time they fire you before? Daryl Smith, oh yeah, they fire you already. But you're fired still. If it is a frustration, let's make you want to shout. Fire.
I want to speak like a gentleman. But we are in a war. We are assembling an army to fight for the soul of the nation. We do not trust the Elections and Boundaries Commission. We do not trust them. We already have progressive and permanent party members in touch with international observers. The minute round is slip and call an election, we want international observers here to monitor the entire process because we don't trust them. We don't trust them at all. Every chance they ever had, they try to consolidate power. They use every opportunity, every opportunity they get to make a mockery of the system. We don't trust not one of them. I don't trust Rowley further than I can pick him up and throw him. I don't trust none of them. A bunch of stink and dirty, deceitful, mocking pretenders. Hey, not one. It is time for us, the people of Trinidad and Tobago, to stop wake each other up. Tell people stop talking shit now and focus on the issues. You're fed up about roti politics and nonsense. Um, um, Plant-like substances. And who's zooming who? They're fed up of bullshit, race politics. Yeah, yeah, you're not ready for a real country where healthcare works and education works and water. Like Fitzgerald Hines, who was surprised in London every time he turned on the tap. Man, tell him off. He was the Minister of Public Utilities and Hamer sat down there like a giggling jackass. <laughs> every time he turned on the tap, there was water. The Minister of Public Utilities understood that it was possible, it was not just an illusion that people talk about in Eden Blackton books, that there are places in the world where every time you turn on the tap, water comes out. And we could have had that. We could have had all of that. We could have had a country where the drug barons couldn't use it as a drug trafficking pipeline, killing little black hen chicken, 500 a year, fighting over turf. They can't rent, much less own. People so frustrated, a man beat a woman to death today and then drink poison. I know she did. I think I she in critical condition. The country broken. It broken. But the good news, the good news is that it can fix quickly. The police service, not one, not Gary Griffith, not Dulal Chan, not one of them. Did the media ask, if you were commissioner tomorrow, how would you fix it? Not one. It's not important. We're just about stunting. We're just about bullshit. It's not about real governance. We play that on TV every morning for Zero Nema. But it's not true. But if there's a progressive empowerment party government, there will be, there will be internal affairs people to clean up the police service. And there will be joint venture exercises to shut down the nation's borders. A maritime security wall will be built. The guns will be picked up off the streets. We will, after we clean up the rogue criminal elements from the police service, the police officers that are left should have opportunities to get fabulously wealthy working hard. A thousand dollars a gun. A thousand dollars for every illegal gun. You can't smuggle more because the maritime security wall is there to keep it closed. So the 30,000 guns that Christopher Mugabe Sabda keep rolling told the nation that here is 13 million dollars for police. Let police get that 13 million dollars. We have to run the country like that. We must make sure that in every constituency, anything that is built from a box drain to a highway, people in that constituency, companies from that constituency, contractors from that constituency, even suppliers from that constituency, get the money. It can't be Junior Sami and Calco and SIS and Kusals, Jackass in, Jackass out, and this same bunch sucking all out of the country. Why the small man can't benefit? Why everybody must be slaves to who connected? Junior Sami is the only man who holds the put on a road. Junior Sami is just the only man who seems to know how to get a contract. Like Calco, all of a sudden, Dino Kalu, Dino Kalu jump out of nowhere. And it's the biggest contractor in town. Like Ish. When Pandey had come to power, Ish had two back home and one of them wasn't working. Become the biggest contractor in Trinidad. It is the game that they play. The bullshit have to done. All the bullshit have to done. And the way you're going to done the bullshit, 900,000 votes. Let them tired count and say PEP. Vote all 41. All 41 in the parliament. Vote them out. Don't take chain up. 
from the people who gain your talk and whispering poison in your ear about Philip or the PAP and they benefiting from the bullshit contractocracy, you know. Don't take that chain up because we are the ones that expose them, not just the big, pretty small, all of them in between who feed it out of the people's trough and they want to defend that bad. They afraid the progressive empowerment party, but as the old people will say, night does run till day catch up with it end. And that's what the old people will say. Eh? If I play all them songs and I don't play the song, Sterling Leha go both men. And Sterling Leha is our caretaker from the Romatin Central. And he's a decent fellow. Sterling, every time I play this song, it's because you requested brush. Yeah? If you can look as far as I see Within this great land we call the empty There's birds and bees, rivers and seas Pretty woman bringing man to the knees Treasures of this blessed land We always neglect like I so and pan I find it so strange the way we are in Still this nation don't know how to change Cause some change it might just mean a new car Change could mean less than a dollar To most change have this nice scent We usually get from the government You see change is something we always say But every time we change things remain the same way Things keep getting worse and worse So this is what I propose You wanna know how you know the lie? Call him but you're a stink and dirty liar You're a deceiver you're a nasty, nasty man. You shouldn't be trusted anywhere near anything that is not your property. I want to show you why Colm Embert is a dirty, hypocritical, stink deceiver. Somebody that you can't trust. Colm Embert create a recession for the, for, for the one percent to buy a people property. I tell you, Trent Tobago, that recession wasn't real. And when the people start to wake up because of the Progressive Empowerment Party, that same short, twin, stunting jackass run and tell the nation, recession done. Let me tell you how you just know there's a recession. Two or more quarters of negative growth. How does a recession done? One quarter of positive growth. Did the central bank tell this nation there was a quarter of positive growth before that jackass make his magical announcement. Call him, but miss me with your minuscule bullshit. Let's change the change for a better nation. Change the change for all foundations. Change the change so that we could oh. say that this nation yeah, came we from Christ right some day. I say change the change within the school system. So change the ministers and change what we teach them. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't start with really you. Then we wonder why in our sister eye Why they don't like trainees to come and spend time When you see change is much more than paving our old road And change is greater than texting a lamp pole Change is about the whole nation And how we are portrayed when the party done Who set these standards in my TNT I really wish somebody here could tell me It's just the same thing again and again Like we leaders don't use the brain Saturday come and we launch the beginning of changing the change. Come Saturday, six o'clock. No matter you could be in Mayaro, you could be in Tobago. Come to come to Pigot's Corner, Belmont. Come out in your thousands, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Swell. Let police come and say we can't move traffic. Look at people and Michelle performing. Let them see. The people say the time for the bullshit is done. Change, change, so the whole world could see. Change, change for a better future. 
Cause we don't have to depend on our next meal. I say change, change, we take this society. Otherwise we'll have a bandit factory. But things won't change despite all we do. If change doesn't start with you, yeah. I know that. The responsibility is mine to fix this country. The responsibility is yours. Forget them. Their job is to lie. Keith Rowley's job is to lie and stunt. He's a nasty man. You can't trust a word coming out of his mouth. He has lied for his entire career. He's made a career of deceit and telling untruths. You can't trust a word coming out of Colm in both mouth. Colm is a liar extraordinaire. You can't trust none of them. In that entire parliament, Roti politics died in this country when the pep was born. The Progressive Empowerment Party changed the national conversation. And as much as Sabga News Network and Massa Media trying to hide us from the people, we still the fastest growing political party in this country's history. Parties come in and they bring in and they're giving them 30 million dollar watches and they're promising and they come in and they're drying up like five cent shave, shave ice and sun. The Progressive Empowerment Party is 17 months old. We've had 16 rallies and more than 50 Saturday weekly meet and greet three hour long meetings. We've put out a manifesto at a glance. 21 policies that rock the vampire system. The banks in panic because they know that if the Progressive Empowerment Party comes to government, we don't have to attack them. We just have to open the economy to bring five and ten competing banks that want to give Trinidadians Ironin Board and Panini Maker to come and open bank accounts. They want the interest in gain their interest, but get them stale, dank, interlocking director bullshit banks. They're taking advantage of the people that remove all the credit from the economy so the middle class was to dry up and make us a peasant class working for the 1%. Miss us with that bullshit. The Progressive Empowerment Party is here. All that exposed. We open the curtain. We open the window. We let fresh air in. The bullshit of the parasitic oligarchy has come to an end. You have all of the power to make a better nation in the tip of your fingers, starting in Belmont and Barataria, and then to the 41 constituencies and beyond. Trinidad, we trust you to stand up for yourself. We are coming out and giving you everything that you ever needed to bring the party that you wanted, that represents all of the people, one nation under one flag. It is time that we got the nation that we deserve. Trinidad and Tobago deserves much, much better than this. And forget the posers and the stunting artists, because if they want your vote. Ask them, what would you do about national security, health care, education, home ownership for all? You see that home ownership for all? It burning them. It burning them. And we prove that we could build a $100,000 house. So it burning them worse. We will make sure all the people of this country get a chance to stand up and raise their family and give their children hope and opportunity. To, to go on to maximize their fullest, fullest potential. The United States of America have more jobs than people right now. Trinidad must have that same problem. People must be going from interview to interview, choosing which career they want. We want a better nation. We have every, we have every meaningful opportunity to get that better nation. Join the Orange family, family. Join the Orange Army. Join the Orange Tsunami. We're standing firm. We're standing strong. We're facing down the mocking pretenders and the parasitic oligarchy. And we're here to bring change. We need you. We need your support. We need your help. We need your vote. Join us this Saturday, 6 o'clock, Pigot's Corner, Belmont. Stay safe, children, and today.